Mercenaria mercenaria, or hard clam, is a very important species for the health of the economy and the marine food web. Growers along the eastern seaboard experience mortality-related loss in their hard clam inventory for several reasons. In northern areas, the pathogen known as Quahog parasite, unknown, or QPX, creates problems on shellfish farms from Massachusetts to Virginia. In Florida, heat stress during the summer can result in mortalities of larger clams reaching harvest size. These events result in lost revenues for growers. Thus, the Sea Grant Hard Clam Selective Breeding Collaborative, HUB, aims to improve the aquaculture industry on the Atlantic coast by finding and establishing more resilient lines of clams. Researchers have been studying the clam's genome for the identification of naturally occurring strains that are resistant to these stressors. Now, what is a genome? A genome is all the genetic information stored in DNA that describes a living organism, and this genome makes us who we are. But why is it so important to study this genome in this project? The genome controls the characteristics or traits in an organism. The genome is key for allowing scientists to identify parts of the DNA that control responses against QPX disease and heat stress. The method being deployed identifies an exact location, also known as a genetic marker, on a chromosome that controls specific traits. A trait is the expression of a gene, and this can have physical, metabolic, or immune characteristics. Seemingly minor variations in these genetic markers can create major differences in traits. A team of researchers has successfully completed the first steps to identify these genetic variations at the DNA level within the clam genome that controls response to QPX disease and heat stress. Scientists have sequenced the hard clam genome and discovered millions of small variations in DNA called single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs. In a few minutes, we will describe how our researchers use SNPs to select the best clams to produce the next generation. Genetic selection is expected to be more precise and efficient than traditional selective breeding. This selective breeding will produce genetic improvements so hard clam growers can reproduce these specific traits in future generations of their crops. When completed, this selective breeding method being developed under this project will be widely applied across the hardshell aquaculture industry. Many areas of the domestic food industry use selective breeding to increase production. For example, this method was introduced on dairy farms to increase the amount of milk produced per cow in the United States since 1999. Recent statistics from the U.S. Department of Agriculture estimate that dairy cows yield 10% more milk each day. Selective breeding is different from genetically modified organisms, or GMO. GMO usually involves the introduction of foreign genes that didn't exist previously, whereas selective breeding is based on naturally occurring variations already in the organism. What has the Sea Grant Hard Clam Selective Breeding Collaborative research accomplished thus far? Accomplishment number one, decode the genome. To decode the hard clam genome, researchers began with one clam and performed genetic sequencing to identify the DNA composition and protein coding sequences, and use these results as reference for future population genetic studies. Accomplishment number two, identify population genetic diversity. Researchers successfully mapped DNA for nine distinct hard clam populations, ranging from Maine through Florida, and compared these results with genetic code from the reference organism to determine differences in their DNA sequence. Doing so, a genetic code library was constructed to document all genetic variations that were detected in hard clam populations, with a focus on what is called single nucleotide polymorphism, or SNP. SNPs are extremely important since changes in a single position in a genetic code can lead to a change in the amino acid sequence and protein activity. Accomplishment number three, genotyping tool development. Researchers then selected the most informative SNPs to build SNP arrays, which are powerful and cost-effective genotyping tools that are now being used to identify clams that are resistant to various stressors. Doing so, scientists can identify genetic fingerprints of clams that resist disease and environmental stress. 
These genetic fingerprints can then be used to select broodstock for selective breeding using resistant strains. In this phase of the project, researchers are applying these SNP array tools to select strains that are tolerant to heat and QPX. While it has taken four years to accomplish these milestones, the results and genotyping tools provide the capability to improve lineage that are being cultivated by the industry. There is still more work to be done, but we hope to soon identify resilient strains that would improve clam farm viability, and from this, ensure the availability of high quality seed to growers. Thank <laughs> you.